And hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Minecraft with yours truly, the Hermit Hood. Um, welcome back everybody, up here. Um, I wanted to bring you guys all in here today, I'm a little bit uh, out of it lately. My uh, dad, I haven't heard from him in a little bit over a week and it makes me kind of sad, I don't know why, it's just... It just kind of get gets rid of the mood, you know. It just kind of kills the mood of wanting to not knowing what to do inside of Minecraft and everything. I mean, I know what I want to do. Okay, I want to go over to the desert. I want to gather myself up a whole bunch of sand. I want to bring it over here. I want to backfill this thing up, up over here with a whole bunch of cobblestone. Um, this beach, for goodness sakes, I want to fix it. It's frozen. And it also gives me this concept of an idea of... I mean, I just want to fix it, all right? It looks okay just the way it is. But as I showed you guys in that beta clip um, in our beta world, it looked a little bit different, a little bit better. So, you know, you know what? Even though I'm not feeling myself, I mean, I'm not feeling 100%. Let's go gather some dirt and we'll start doing some terraforming together of the land. Make it look a little bit better than what it is. Um, just start doing some work around here and just getting it tip top and ready make get the landscape ready do some landscaping together i don't see why not go ahead and fill my inventory up with some dirt and uh, not completely with all dirt but a good chunk of it and we got our villagers over here so far we only have the two of them um this right here we're going to go ahead and backfill it but I think what we should do is grab our silk touch shovel and grab all the stuff out of it. But you know what? We're just going to go ahead and fill it in. There he goes. Like so. For some reason, making videos whenever I'm not feeling too good feels a little bit better. You know? I haven't heard from my dad in a few days, guys. It's worrying me. There you go. Just so grass can spread. I mean, this is a guy, he's been the world to me, you know. He's helped me out through the thick and thin. He's been there for me all the time. But this time, not hearing from him is what worries me the most. I don't know why some of you guys I don't know if you know what that feels like you know you got somebody there for you they've been there for you your whole life and then just one day you don't hear from them no more and you don't know if they're alive or whatnot you know it's just it's just worrying and that's just kind of like how I feel right now my dad, I mean, I've been through a lot in my life. And my dad recently, well, the heel, how do I put this? The, um, in his, uh, in his left foot, his left foot, his ankle, his entire left ankle and his foot, the entire thing just collapsed one day. Okay. Everyone has an arch in their support, usually, right? Well, his arches collapsed and in his left foot when his when one in his left foot collapsed it snapped a bone in there and he needs to go for a surgery and then my step and when he went to work one day he ended up in the hospital his ankle ended up really 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 big and huge and that's sad because that hurt me seeing my father trying to walk around and I know his situation 
I know how he feels because I had to learn to walk again myself before. I got smacked by an automobile. I broke my back before. I, I know the pain. But I don't know what this pain is like in his foot that he's going through right now. Because that's a totally different kind of pain. But he's refusing a surgery. And now I haven't heard from him for at least a little over a week now. And he's supposed to be the payee that helps pay the bills on my on my account. And because I'm on disability. But I haven't heard from him. And I can't get him the bills if I don't hear from him. And that upsets me because I'm like, hey, Dad, hey, um, Dad, are you there? <laughs> Can you pick up the phone? Let me know if you're okay, you know? And he's just not picking up. So I made a phone call for some other family members today. Come on. Stupid pick block ain't working. All right. Uh, yeah, I made a phone call to some family today to see if somebody out there in the family can actually, you know, reach out, contact him, see what's going on, see if he's okay. And I'm just going to wait and see what they all have to say. You know, is my dad okay? Is he in the hospital? What? You know, because it worries me. I mean, and why shouldn't it worry me? You know, this is the guy that's been there for me since the day I was born. He's been there for me since, well, I disappeared for a long time. I mean, I've been through a lot in my life, and I couldn't wish that on anybody. Ah, get that off that tree. Yeah, and really, I couldn't wish my life on anybody. It's <laughs> it's just one of those lives where you live a long life, you're happy, you, you think you're happy, and then something comes along and changes everything and makes it all so makes it worth living and then my, first my neighbor moves out then my stepmother f has a fall and I don't know how to react to this stuff you know I honestly don't know how to react to it it it, it just makes me feel sad you know because this is my family and nobody's talking to me, nobody's saying nothing, nobody's... It's just upsetting, if you know what I mean. And I... As much as I like transparency, you know, I appreciate a little bit of uh, respect by saying, Hey, look, we're okay, but I'm not hearing anything like that. It's more or less like, hey, we're... Uh, <laughs> I, I just don't know what to say and I don't know what to record because because of it what is with this new update it's got more lighting bugs than Texas on crap <laughs> what is with this new update you know it's got more lighting errors than Minecraft Forge and uh It does. It's got more lighting errors than Minecraft Forge. Back in uh, the early days. And <laughs> it does. It does. It's, it's got more lighting errors than Minecraft Forge. Back in the early days. I mean, we all remember that. 
Well, those of us that played it. Man. Yeah. Man, I started a left play of that, and I'm just hoping it catches on. I start getting some views on that, maybe some comments here and there. And by the way, I am so surprised to start seeing that we're getting some comments on the channel. That actually surprised me. Let's make some lights going all the way over towards the base. You know, kind of the path light of them. Start getting some landscaping done around here. Yeah, I hear y'all. Get inside the crib here, go upstairs, take ourselves a wee bit of a nap. Just start getting some landscaping done. Um, I'd love to go over to the desert, get myself a whole bunch of sand and fix it. Fix that up, you know, get ourselves a uh, nice little beach going there. We'll go up here, we'll get some uh, more dirt. There we go. Alright. We seem to be doing a little bit better. And you gotta remember, we also got these big mounds like that right there. I mean, if it's, if it's not too much of a problem, you know, if we can tear it out and it not look too bad, then we can tear it out. I don't want to flatten the entire area like I've done in previous versions. I just would like to kind of make it look natural, you know? Like, things like this, uh-uh. That's got to go. Um, like, give me this piece of sand right here. Place that right there. Bada bang, bada boom, and like that. Mm -hmm, there you go. See, that fixes that right up. And let's just finish filling this thing in. So, I want to know from you guys, if, if anybody, I mean, what's your, what's your thoughts on this, you know? I mean, I know my dad, and this just, it just don't seem like him to me. You know? It just don't seem like him not to answer. And it kind of worries. So, yeah, I guess naturally, in a way, it sounds okay, but... He's still, it's, he's still, it's my dad, you know, guys, and I love him to death, you know, he's been there for me for a very long time, and I'd hate to see something happen to him and me not know, know anything about it, to, yeah, that's just one of them things. Alright, I think I know one thing I would love to do, is get myself enough sand to where we can make his beach look like a natural beach kind of like yeah fix this beach up make it look like a natural beach I still have yet to finish pulling this thing out of here what is that that's cobblestone I should just rem leave the rest of this. Yeah. Let's just leave the rest of this thing. I'm not even going to bother with it. If it gets in the way of building the beach, then we'll tear it out. Um, Till then, nah, for right now, we'll just leave it be. Um, let's see here. This little bit right here. Eh. You know what? We could use this as like a pathway coming through here so we can tear this out. I really wasn't too sure what to record for today, guys. Honestly. I mean, I just wasn't feeling it. So, I decided to just... Start doing something. And I figured, well, just bring you guys in and 
tell you a little bit about why and what's going on and why I feel the way I feel and what's going on with me and life, you know? You know, bounce some thoughts off y'all. <laughs> I left him a few messages. I'm still been leaving the messages. I called my dad today and surprisingly still nothing from him. At least my villagers won't despawn. How much dirt we got on me? You know what? Give me this beautiful white rock. We gotta find ourselves a good cave full of this stuff. Because this stuff looks like the diorite. I mean, this diorite looks like a beautiful marble from Red Power all the way back. And, uh. It does. It looks like a beautiful marble from all the way back in Red Power. whenever you put it in that polished form. Just wish we had some stair models for it. This stuff looks like that limestone sort of like. Yeah, it does. It looks kind of like that limestone. Alright, now we can get some uh, cobblestone and uh, backfill this place with it. Yeah. Get some cobblestone and backfill this. Um, don't we got a silk touch shovel? Yeah, we do. Reason I said that is because of this. We might be able to get away with using some concrete in here too. If we can get ourselves enough gravel. That is. <laughs> Definitely nice talking with you guys today. Still don't feel exactly right. It just feels like something's wrong and I don't know what it is. I just can't put my finger on it. Where's that chest at? By the way, I tore down all these apple trees that we had over here. And inside of here, I put all our uh, oak wood. I put our oak wood leaves. Put all our apples in here. And all our oak saplings. Decided I'm going to start to keep those things. We're going to build ourselves an automatic apple farm one of these days. Um, I'm waiting on Mumbo or Tango, one of those guys, to build us a... Uh, what am I doing? Um, I'm waiting on one of those guys to uh, build a uh, automatic tree farm for 1.13 that actually works. Because the, the other ones, they, they just don't work no more. And... Yeah. Yeah, the other ones, they just don't work no more, so. Just waiting on those new ones. I'm not too crazy about that book. Where was I putting this at? Right up there. There we go. There's all that polished diorite. Didn't we just do this one? There we go. All right. All right. This cobble. All right. Where's my sand chest at? Right up here. All right. So, yeah, this is all our backup sand. Let's go ahead and gather some of this and let's do ourselves a wee bit of work. But see, this is at a uh, diorite texture now. It looks like that marble from Red Power. Still need a lot more sand than this. 
I should just steal my bed out of the house, bring it with us. But I think we actually have a backup one. That way we're not running back and forth all the time. Hey, buddy. Get over here, buddy. You got my bed on you? No? Alright. Huh. We do have a backup bed. Just don't know where the hell it is. Okay, where's that bed at? I know we got it. <laughs> Just open up my 50 freaking chest right now. Alright, let's see here. Come on. I'm stuck on that dang pillar. Get upstairs. Nothing. 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 Eh, uh, fine. We got the wool. We got the string at least. We got the string at least. I'm not. I'm just not. I'm not. I'm not dealing with it. All right. We got to dye this. We. I, I wish I could bring some sheep over here because they have this natural ability of staying warm in this weather <laughs> they do they have this natural ability of staying warm i thought about bringing the llamas over but you can't shear them but i don't want to be bringing any animals over here that don't belong in this biome I mean, the only animals that we got over here so far is, well, just our main food source. Hey, bunnies. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, I've lost a lot of weight. A lot more. I packed it all back on after a uh, stupid mistake of uh, listening to some doctors. But, uh, yeah, they gave me this medicine that kind of screwed me up. But, eh, I'm doing better now. You know what? We only need one of those. Just reach right around here and... Ooh. Well, that don't make no sense. Where the hell's all my coal at? Why did this stop? Why did that stop? Why the hell are you stuck? Like, seriously. What the heck? Alright, and I only need one of these, so... Wait, furnace right there. All right, let's go outside. Let's shove this furnace down. Let's get this thing, toss it in there, toss that in there. Um, let's give ourselves a wee bit of wood. I know we just seen three pieces we could use. Did we? Didn't we just see three pieces? Yeah, right here. One, two, three. Ah, whatever. So, naturally, you can just grab yourself one of these. There he goes. Why the heck? I don't know. Alright, so, there we go. Got that. Got this. Got my green bed again. Don't know where the other green bed disappeared to. But, uh, alright. There you go. Let's go get some sand and let's head over here to the beach. To... And we'll start doing ourselves a little bit of work on this for right now. Alright, so the beach comes up. But you know what? Let's just try to leave this frozen part right here. Wait, was that a dolphin? 
Hi, how you doing? Darn dolphin's trying to drown me. All right. <laughs> So, that stuff was like, alright, let's see here. Hi. And I want to bring this out to about the edge. Yeah, nice to see you too. And we want to bring it all the way out. What is with these lighting glitches? Alright, this gotta come out. That gotta go in there. Alright, now that we're here, we gotta bring this up by two, going a whole way across. You know, kind of make it look like it's a natural sandbar. There we go, kind of like this. This is what I'm looking at right here. So if you was to actually step out here and you look at the beach, it'll come up by two, then it'll go up by one and then so on and so forth like on edges like this where you got these big parts that are like this it doesn't have to go up by that it can easily just come in and do one of those and do something like that you know, something just to break it up not make it too uniform But we're going to need a lot of sand for something like this. So this one, I would actually push it back some maybe. Yeah, do something like that to it. Uh, maybe pull this piece out right here. Just to break it up a little bit. So if we come back, we look at it. Let's just climb in the, underneath the water. Swimming with the dolphins, baby. Alright, so this is kind of like what we'll be looking at instead. Alright, um, F1 and so versus the beach, alright, so our sandbar, as we can tell, it goes up yay high over on that side, but I want to bring it up to about that high and bring it the whole way around so that it's uniform and then we can worry about bring it out into the water a little bit more. Those trees... What I want to do with those is I want to use the bark, okay? I want to use the bark of the acacia tree and mix it with um, some spruce 
and maybe those leaves also to make a custom kind of pine tree I think it would look out nicely I think it will but guys thank you for uh, coming by here to uh, watch this video with me today very into well uh, well yeah if you have but uh, in either case it's been relaxing I feel a little bit better I do now that I've actually kicked back and relaxed but, uh, yeah. Basically, today we got a chance to work on a sandbar and swim with the dolphins. <laughs> yeah. Nice for a screenshot. Sandbar. Sandbar for the win. All right, guys. Take care. Have a nice day. I'm out of here. Later.